my lovely imps. We have to talk about Aiden Ross. Now, uh, some of you, some of you uh, may know of a uh, of a streamer, a former Twitch streamer by the name of Aiden Ross. Okay, uh, Aiden Ross uh, was uh, how do I describe this? He did gaming. He did gambling. He did uh, react content. You know, he was kind of your variety streamer, gamer boy, uh, etc. Et he got really into crypto for a while. Uh, and then something happened. Okay? Uh, something happened to this poor uh, uh, lost soul. And that thing is a man named Andrew Tate. Now, uh, a lot of you, of course, I can say Andrew Tate's name and it, like you all already know exactly who I'm talking about. Uh, Andrew Tate is a, uh, let's just call him a Manosphere uh, uh, content creator. He was the guy who, uh, I'll try and do my best, Andrew Tate. Everybody join Top G University so you can have a Bugatti just like mine. A Bugatti is what you want. If you want to have a car like mine, a Bugatti like mine, you have to slap your women around and get their money for you. You need to treat them like shit because otherwise you are not a man. You are not a man. I am insecure because I need three Bugattis to feel like I even have any manliness. And that's basically was is the best way to understand uh Andrew Tate. It, almost all of his videos are some variation of that. Um, infamously, Andrew Tate's like uh, first big meme that everybody sort of made fun of him for was um, this rant that he did on Instagram where he was like, somebody asked him if he had seen the Star Wars movies, if he knew what Star Wars was, and he got like turbo offended. He was like, I have not seen Star Wars. I would never watch something stupid like Star Wars because I'm too busy making fucking money. Unlike you, I have a Bugatti and you don't got shit. You watch Star Wars, I have a Bugatti. And he got like super, super fucking mad about it. Um, it was very, very funny. Um, and pathetic. And in fact, uh, despite his uh, enormous following, uh, uh, most of his career could be described as a, a mixture of extremely pathetic and extremely abusive. Uh, Andrew Tate, of course, is now detained in a Romanian jail on uh, a large number of uh, sex trafficking charges. Uh, he openly admitted on video to being a pimp, uh, to misleading young women to come visit him in Romania where he would trap them in, allegedly, this is according to his own analysis, but let's just use the word to be safe, allegedly, uh, would trap them into sex slavery. Um, and of course, uh, things are not going very well for Andrew Tate now. Um, also, he became relatively rich by running a, uh, a pyramid scheme, uh, it, which I don't really think that there's any other way around it uh, to say it. It was not even a multi-level marketing scheme. It was because there was no actual product. Uh, he ran a thing called Top G University, which uh, alleged to teach you how to be a Chad who makes money. Um, and the way that it would teach you to make money is by recruiting other people who would pay you money. And that's a pyramid scheme. That's what we call allegedly a pyramid scheme. Um, it, Top G University was the biggest fucking scam that I've ever seen in my entire life. It was blatantly obvious. And I think the only reason he even got away with running it is because he was not in the United States. And so, you know, people couldn't really prosecute him. Well, until they did. Uh, but yeah, uh, his, his audience is mostly uh, extremely angry young men. And when I say extremely angry young men, uh, I mean that. There are a lot of men, young men out there who are understandably hurt and angry, who are unhappy with their lot in life, who have probably been mistreated by other men, um, and who feel like they want to be on top of the totem pole, that they want to climb the ladder, so to say. And that was one of the fundamental draws of Andrew Tate 
was he told them, well, if you just act like me, if you become a top G, you could have a big Bugatti. You have to cut some throats to get there. And of course, this only works because you're talking to literal 14 year olds. Um, no offense, not trying to be ageist in any way, shape or form, but 14 year olds don't have a whole lot of experience uh, in the world. And they don't realize that just because somebody says something that that doesn't actually make it true. Um, and of course, none of this stops uh, Top G Andrew Tate from convincing kids to throw him whatever pocket money they have uh, in order to, uh, you know, en masse get ripped off by him and his creepy advocates. Um, it, the reason why we spent so much time talking about Andrew Tate is because Andrew Tate became very important to the streamer who we are actually talking about in this segment, which is a guy named Aiden Ross. And I think that it would be fair for me to say that it can't, It got to the point where Aiden Ross literally worshiped Andrew Tate. In fact, let me show you a picture real quick, okay? This right here is the streamer Aiden Ross. You can actually even see his information down here. Um, Aiden Ross uh, was at one point invited to have a conversation with Andrew Tate in person. And uh, when Andrew Tate got up at one point to go to the bathroom, uh, Aiden Ross live in front of tens of thousands of viewers uh, uh, excitedly ran over to smell the seat where Andrew Tate uh, had formerly uh, been sitting. And uh, it was uh, it was certainly a thing. Now you have to understand, um, Aiden Ross, as we are going to see, is not uh, is not like a he's not like a little gay boy. You know, he's not like a uh, you know he's not like a like a like a he he doesn't have a boy crush. He is in fact quite anti-gay and certainly doesn't like trans people. Uh, and he might not l uh, like many other people either, which we'll, we'll get to in just a minute. But uh, Aiden Ross came to a point of basically worshiping Andrew Tate. And uh, when Andrew Tate went to prison, this led to Aiden Ross basically having a total personality breakdown, um, which would be sad if it wasn't so gross, as we're going to see. Aiden Ross, since uh, since his idol, uh, Andrew Tate, who had convinced him, by the way, to become a no-fapper, uh, to become a semen retention guy. Now, if, if, you, if those words sound alien and strange and almost laughable to you, um, that's because they are. Uh, uh, Aiden Ross and many of the people involved with Andrew Tate um, believe in the idea that masturbation weakens your male energies, that it makes you less of a top G, it makes you less masculine. They believe that pornography uh, is sort of like a satanic, they don't always say satanic, but sometimes they do say satanic. It is a satanic influence that in their minds uh, weakens the masculinity of your soul. So instead, uh, they refuse to masturbate. They refuse to watch porn. Well, they're not always very good about that, but they they claim that they don't watch porn, uh, and they do this in the with the goal of preserving their vital masculine energy, their cum, um, so that they can have a strong masculine spirit. Now. There's so much that I could say about all of that, but I think we can acknowledge that this shit is pretty culty, right? Like that all is is the sort of belief systems that uh, that that most people would associate with a type of cultishness. This sort of pseudo mystical belief that you all have to sort of bully each other over. Oh, you're not watching. You're not jacking it, are you? It's like simultaneously humiliating. It's you know very fixated on on uh, on your private behaviors. It's very centered around humiliating lesser men. Uh, it's very hierarchical and clearly as we can see by Andrew Tate's other actions, designed to create a cult of personality that personally enriches him. I mean, I just talked about, uh, you know, 
the top G university uh, and all that shit. Uh, it is, uh, it's very weird, okay? But Aiden Ross, um, Aiden Ross did not like stop being successful after his idol Andrew Tate was imprisoned. Um, but he has had an identity crisis. Uh, Aiden Ross, despite having lots and lots of viewers, despite still making tons and tons of money from his channel, uh, basically had a mental breakdown or a personality breakdown of some form. And it's gotten really, really weird, okay? Uh, it started with him... Uh, it started with him... Uh, uh, sort of buying into this these this strange messaging about the matrix uh and the matrix is a meme that that was uh that was sort of referenced i guess uh, the, obviously the matrix is a movie you guys all know about the matrix you know and there's you know the red pill and the blue pill uh the, just as a quick reminder the matrix was made by trans women who have explicitly stated that the matrix is a movie about coming to recognize that the system that we live in is deranged and that you have to wake up from it because otherwise it will just sap you of all your life and they were specifically talking about the experience of realizing that the gender binary is bullshit um just so that we're clear but, of course, a number of communities have sort of taken the Matrix and repurposed it for their own uses to, to try and, like, take the memes from the Matrix. And uh, when Andrew Tate went to prison, he made a sort of now infamous tweet where he was like, The Matrix has is, is, is got me, and it's coming for you. And, of course, this means that all of his sycophants and all of his little, like, you know, priests and all of these, these weird little toadies that he, uh, that he has created on the internet, um, they all repeated that line. And they're all sitting there now claiming uh, things like, uh, 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 you know, trying to, to claim things like, oh, the Matrix is out to get us. It's basically created a, like, a, 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 a perfect funnel into conspiracy theories like uh, QAnon or other things like that. Um, basically by saying there's like a secret group of unknown people out there who are secretly trying to take down the masculine energy. It's very, very weird. It's very, very unwell. It's very disconnected from reality. And Aiden Ross has a army of children in his, uh, in his audience who he is now telling uh, that there is a secret cabal of people, which he refers to sometimes as the Matrix and, some, and sometimes as other things, that are secretly pulling the strings of our society to shut down uh, strong white men. Yeah, so you can see where this went. Uh, and, uh, of course, not content to simply be a, uh, a, a sort of dummy streamer, Aiden Ross has completely and utterly flown off the handle to the degree that he is now, as of yesterday, I believe, formally permabanned from Twitch. Uh, so we've reached the part where he has now started to actually damage his career. And... Uh, yesterday, he did a stream on a website called Kick, and we have to talk about this. That's the actual subject. I was giving you guys the backstory so that we're all on the same page, just giving you the windup of this, this whole story. A couple of months ago, I did a video about exactly this. I did a drama mama, a deep dive. It was one of the best you've ever seen where I dived in and I got all the receipts in order and I explained what the hell was going on with uh, this website kick. Now, uh, I won't give you the whole story here, but the long and short of it is Twitch uh, earlier or late last year decided finally to ban gambling, okay? Now, uh, some of you may have seen that video, some of you don't. Uh, for a long time, gambling streams were allowed on Twitch. And there are a lot of problems with gambling on Twitch. One of them being the fact that the predominant audience 
of Twitch viewers is literal children. And that the people who were doing these gambling streams were often paid literally millions of dollars by gambling companies to gamble all day, to make it exciting. And they would often fudge their numbers. They would often literally give away $10,000 in their chat, giving the illusion that anybody could win to literal children. They were getting children addicted to gambling. And one of the, uh, one of the biggest people involved in this was a enormous streamer by the name of Trainwreck TV. And Trainwreck TV, uh, just so that we're clear on the context here, Trainwreck TV was being paid tens of millions of dollars. T that's right, tens of millions of dollars to be sponsored by a gambling company. And he would then play in his audience that he knew was full of children, slot machines all day long making huge deals about the winnings, prepping children to gamble. And what's even worse, basically showing children the exact way that they could go gamble sneakily. Because of course, a lot of the sites that, that these people would be funneled into don't actually care about the age. If you have a kid who has a, a debit card that's given by their, their mother, they can sneak in on these sites, blow money, and it doesn't affect these people at all. So of course, Twitch decided it's time to ban gambling. This is really fucked up. We can't have our platform associated with this. And Trainwrecks decided to leave Twitch entirely and create his own streaming platform called Kick. Which brings us to now. Aiden Ross has been uh, streaming on Kick and uh, uh, the worst, and, and let's just say the personality breakdown that I previously mentioned about Aiden Ross, about seat sniffer Aiden Ross, has advanced to the degree um, that a couple of days ago, he decided to stream porn to his audience. There were tens of thousands of people watching we already know for a fact that a lot of his audience is minors and he was using the platform Kick to just stream porn to them. Now, part of this might seem a little hypocritical to you because didn't isn't this guy anti-porn? Well, yes, but he put that aside because in his mind, he was owning the libs, so to say, by proving that he's unstoppable. That he can do whatever he wants. That now that he's uh, now that he's not a part of the matrix anymore, he can just do. He can. He doesn't. He's not bound by anybody's rules. That's been the thing that he's been ranting about all the time lately. Is nobody can tell me what to do. Nobody can tell me what to do. I can go on kick and I can stream porn if I want to. And so he streamed porn to children. A lot of children publicly with thousands and thousands and thousands of people watching and uh, that has caused a lot of issues uh, now I don't know if we know the exact reason why twitch gave him a permaban as many of you will know, Twitch almost never actually tells anybody the actual reason. Uh, they keep that shit very private. Um, sometimes they don't even tell the actual streamer, which seems absurd, but we've talked about that in other videos. Twitch is notoriously secretive about the actual reason. But we can certainly say that there is probably a very, there is at least a good reason to believe that this porn streaming incident was a influencing factor on Aiden Ross being permabanned from Twitch. As it turns out, Twitch does not, uh, it, it, it kind of makes sense at least that Twitch would not want to be associated with the guy who streamed porn directly to children uh, uh, as a part of their brand. Because keep in mind, Aiden Ross was a Twitch partner. He's not anymore. He's been banned completely from the platform. But he was. That looks pretty bad on Twitch's part. Um, but... Ooh! Ah! Ooh! 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 
there's a little more pain to this story, okay? There's a little, a little bit more pain involved in this story for Mr. Aiden Ross. Um, and we're gonna talk about that because that's the real heart of today's topic. I, I have to give you the backstory so that you know what we're talking about. But um, uh, because Aiden Ross is banned on Twitch, uh, we are not allowed to uh, review uh, the content uh, <laughs> that he that he streamed. Also, uh, the content that he streamed in a stream on yesterday, yesterday evening, uh, is would also likely get me in trouble with YouTube. So instead, I will be taking it upon me, the the lovely, your lovely host, Demon Mama, of course, worthy of all of your worship and praise, I will be taking it upon me to recount the events of this dreadful stream, including uh, the fact that he might not even have a home on kick anymore. I wanna just summarize real quick. Aiden Ross becomes a successful streamer uh, uh, doing variety stuff, making millions of dollars, you know, selling crypto, got a partnership for gambling, becomes addicted to Andrew Tate. Andrew Tate goes to prison, crypto fucking collapses, gambling is banned on Twitch, Aiden Ross has a complete and utter meltdown and his personality starts to break, but he could still be making money. The man has a huge platform. He could do gaming. He could do anything. He could go the Mr. Beast route if he wanted to, but instead he keeps freaking out about Andrew Tate. He goes to Andrew Tate, Andrew Tate, Andrew Tate, Andrew Tate. And now we reach the bottom. And that's what we are about to see. Because let me tell you, it gets really, really bad. This is a uh, incredible summary thread uh, by, uh, by the account Austinox. Austinox, uh, is a, uh, it, they, they cover a lot of internet stuff, okay? And they thankfully provided us with a very useful, uh, real-time tweet thread of the thread of the video, or of the stream that went down last night. This is Hassan's editor? Yes, this is Hassan's editor. Um, and let me just tell you, they got the best for us. So we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna go through. Oh, oh, for, for those who don't know, Austin Ox talks about, um, about stream news, like all the time. And they, they do great, these great little threads, but this one is gonna be legendary, okay? So let's fucking do this. Here we go. We're gonna start here. I'm gonna blow this up just a little bit so everybody can read it. Aiden Ross is streaming with train wrecks on kick about his Twitch ban and the future of the platform. He opens the stream with, there's only two genders. Now, this is another thing that Aiden Ross has been sort of like uh, cringily obsessed with lately. Um, it, you know, as is to be, you know, understood, as you should probably, as you should probably come to expect from, uh, from you know, bog standard uh, uh, misogynist Andrew Tate fans, they always hate hate trans people, they always hate gay people. Like, I mean, look at this, he fucking tweeted this this morning, again. There are only two genders! It's literally, when I say it's like a personality breakdown, it's pathetic. Like, I mean, this guy's been screeching about these random fucking, uh, these, these random fucking, uh, 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 culture war bullshit. What does genders have anything to do with anything this guy is doing? The answer is, he's desperate to win the approval of the sycophantic right-wing psychopaths who subscribe to uh, uh, to uh, Andrew Tate. And he has deluded himself into believing that he is some kind of culture warrior. And that by basically being a loud, pathetic, and embarrassing like bigot type, that that's gonna be the way that things are gonna go. But oh my God, does it get worse? Trainwreck starts wish starts listing wishlist streamers that he wishes to bring over to kick. Destiny, Bruce drop him off. Uh, Aiden asks about if they can bring over Nick Fuentes, a self-proclaimed Nazi. Train refuses to com comment. At one at 111,000 viewers, Trainwreck asks Aiden if he's circumcised. Aiden says, of course, I'm Jewish. 
Now, I don't know if that's true. I don't know if Aiden Ross is actually Jewish. Maybe he is. Um, <laughs> uh, uh, maybe he is. But let's just wait a second. Because what follows is going to get... Uh, uh, he is Jewish. Okay, so he is actually Jewish. I didn't know that. There you have it. Aiden pulls up another kick stream, a kick streamer by the name of Heel Mike, and he has a stripper on stream. This this uh, streamer, Heel Mike, uh, was was streaming just a few days after getting a ban off of kick for streaming himself re receiving a blowjob. Train officially says, no nudity, no porn on Kick. If you guys let this happen in four days, Kick will not be distinguishable from a cam site. So, this is where we're at. Uh, there are only two genders, guys! The, the people screaming about groomers and screaming about only two genders and screaming about how uh, porn is corrupting the youth are streaming themselves getting blowjobs, are streaming themselves hiring strippers, are streaming their porn collection directly into the fucking houses and the, the view streams of children. And they know the demographics of their audience. This isn't some blind thing. Just notice, I want you to re take close note of that, of that fucking uh, dissonance there. That this is the same group. This guy opens his stream screaming about, ah, there's only two genders. He doesn't even know, oh yeah, sorry. Oh, we gotta watch this, this is great. This is a fantastic moment. Here we go. Oh wait, I can't show this. Shit, I can't actually watch this. God damn it. Oh shit, I can't actually show this because we're on Twitch tonight. There is a video out there of uh, of Aiden Ross, where many people have come to the conclusion that he is also illiterate. Uh, I don't know if he's actually illiterate, but somebody asks him if he knows what uh, what a fascist is, and he looks it up on Google. He types in fascist on Google, and he not only mispronounces it, but he also tries to read the definition and actually can't finish the sentences. He keeps stumbling over himself over and over again, and he changes his pronunciation of the word fascist over and over and over again. Um, it means you are a far right authorization on you on ultra does it ultra ultra Oh my God, ultra analyst anal, analyst political ideology movement characterized by dictator leadership centralized autocracy, militarism, for, forcible suppression, suppression of opposition. So I don't know what that means, bro, I swear to God. I don't know what the fuck a fascism is. I don't know what the fuck that is. Benito Mazzulli and Giviante Gen Gen Genitale and Jason Stanley. Like, who the fuck are these people, bro? Never heard of my fucking life. What is an example of a fascist? Yo! It's just, uh... Yeah, so some people are, are convinced that he's illiterate. I think he's probably just, I think it's more likely that he was just severely inebriated and also relatively uh, oblivious. Um, there have been a number of like politically based foibles. Let's just keep in mind that in the past, Aiden Ross would say, I'm not very political. I don't really do politics. He would say that before when he was, you know, a gamer variety streamer trying to do gambling stuff. And now he's, well, he's screaming, opening his stream saying there are only two genders. And as we're about to find out, going a little further, let's continue. Uh, Train announces that on March 3rd there will be a mobile app for Kick, and after that there'll be console integration. Uh, and then Train says to Aiden, your viewers are a bunch of kids that play Xbox. Clips will be coming soon, but Train won't commit to when the feature rolls out. Aiden announces that he pays his moderators $60,000, calls for streamers to pay their mods. Moderators are the backbone of your channel, says Train. Moderators do do a lot of work, uh, but also Paying your moderator $60,000 is a thing that only literally a millionaire can do. Uh, most streamers are not millionaires. Uh, uh, it, it is interesting. It does seem interesting that the owner of a streaming platform, Trainrex, uh, can acknowledge that moderators are really important, but also uh, <laughs> streaming doesn't exactly give a whole lot of money to... Uh, to their creators. Now, to be fair, Train would of course argue, well, Kick pays more than Twitch. 
But let's not get ahead of ourselves. Kick is not exactly in the good in a good light right now. Kick has ha has now had multiple incidents of people streaming porn directly and targetedly to children. Uh, tw uh, Kick has now had people receiving blowjobs on stream. Um, Kick doesn't really have a leg to stand on, basically, and it is out of touch. But let's continue. Aiden is attempting to get another self-proclaimed Nazi. A Nazi by the name of, and this is a quote, Gypsy Crusader onto his stream. Train says, that is too far. Aiden begins playing a clip where Gypsy Crusader calls a boy the N-word over and over again while dressed as Hitler. And then Train says, are you watching this on stream right now? <laughs> so... Unironically, 111,000 people, predominantly children, were exposed to their streamer playing a clip of a guy calling a, a young boy the N-word over and over again while dressing up as Hitler. 111,000 people. Yes, that was the, the view count when this was going down. And of course, Train is sitting here going, uh... I don't know that I don't know if Train realizes how bad this is for his website's image, but remember how I was just saying that uh, Kick.com, while they offer more pay to streamers, has some pretty serious image issues that they might not be able to escape. It just got a lot worse for Kick.com because Kick's one of Kick's biggest streams of all time now features a uh, a Nazi dressing up as Hitler and calling a boy the N-word, which was streamed to children. Incredible. Shortly after this, Aiden asks Train, Train, I have a question. Can guys get raped? Train says, yes, guys can get raped. Aiden says, can you give me an example? The mood suddenly shifts. We should talk about this later. And then Train leaves the call. Aiden hears that a friend of his Aiden hears that a friend of his, Neon, got swatted on kick earlier today and then laughs about it. He calls Neon on Discord. Neon says, are you laughing right now? Fuck you, Jew. And this is, this is a quote. Fuck you, Jew. Kill yourself. That's a quote. And then he leaves the call. And then Aiden asks, wait a minute, chat. How do you know where Neon lives? What's his address? literally asking for docs live on the stream. Minutes after Train tells Aiden to be careful platforming Nazis on his kick stream, uh, this is, I cannot play this on stream, but this is a sing-along song of a Nazi standing, um, standing in front of a Nazi flag, singing about how awesome Hitler is and singing about, singing joyfully about details of the Holocaust. This is, was literally, he streamed this almost immediately afterwards. This is just a sort of comment here. We'll skip that one. Aiden picks up a call from a friend. The friend asks, hey, is the volume up? Aiden says, yeah. The friend says, that shit was funny, bro. But you know what today is? But you know what today is. And then this is a quote from the friend. Hitler should have finished the job on you stupid Kessler, you dumb Jew. Kill yourself. He then hangs up the call. Again, 111,000 people watching this, most of them children. The bulk of the interesting part is over, so I'm gonna go back through and talk about some of the interesting parts from earlier that I wanted to add. Aiden says that he was banned on Twitch for something that occurred on platform, but he will not say what specifically it was. He then goes on a rant for a while about cancel culture. Why don't we correct people? Why do we just cancel them? And then he says, I actually got banned on Twitch for no reason. Aiden says, I wouldn't have gotten banned if I had painted nails and blue hair. He then quizzes chat on how many genders there are. And then he says, Twitch banned me on nat National Hate Jew Day. You couldn't have waited one day? 
Trainwreck rejoins the call with Aiden. Train says half of Twitch employees are on the extreme left wave, bringing their at-home politics to work. Aiden says Twitch wouldn't have banned me if I wasn't so co uh, controversial. Train corrects him that it's pronounced controversial. Do you, do you see do you see something that's happening here? Do you notice how all of this random hatred is being directed at a few almost incoherently at a few specific targets that there's no actual coherence of message it is just designed to hate uh trans people how many genders are there blue hairs and pronouns brew blue hairs and pronouns uh and then of course left wing random left wing people a whole bunch of anti-semitism all of this is being driven in a very specific direction uh to 111,000 viewers many of whom are children Pretty fucking interesting, isn't it? Yeah, literal, literally name dropping Nazi broadcasters, literally playing Nazi broadcasters uh, content. Deranged, fucking deranged. Let's continue. Aiden asks, are Twitch's biggest streamers perfect or corrupt off stream? Then Train says, they're hypocritical. Their actions don't follow their words. If it was if it was you doing what they do, they'd be calling you a scammer or a con artist. He then provides no example of the hypocritical, or sorry, no example of hypocritical actions is given. Aiden says, basically they're teaching their audience to be a bitch and a pussy. You have to follow the policy, follow the rules. Shut the fuck up, bitch, he says. No, motherfuckers, no. There are two genders, you hear me? That's how it is, bitch. And then Train tells him that this really isn't the hill to die on. Train says that moderation should be parents controlling what their kids see, not Twitch saying softcore porn is softcore porn is okay, U.S. licensed gambling is okay, but outside the U.S. it's not. Aiden, if you're gonna ban porn, why can't I be naked in a hot tub? Both keep cutting each other off in order to rant. Um, it's really funny to me that both Train and Aiden are ranting about different things, but they're both ultimately pointing it in the same direction. Uh, Train is basically playing as the good cop, while Aiden is basically playing as the bad cop. Neither of them are being coherent. They're talking about completely different things, but they're both at the end pointing it at left-wing, uh, secret left-wing people pulling the strings. Kind of weird how that works, isn't it? Kind of weird how this entire conversation that we've gone through so far, this entire event, has been deliberately designed to try and convince people to be Nazis. It's almost like there are enormous content creators right now in a very specific uh, 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 sphere of influence, uh, all of them mostly friends with one another, handshaking one, in each, one another, and shouting out, creating an explicit Nazi pipeline. However, there is one funny thing about this, which we'll get to at the end. Train wants to focus on how his gambling sponsor got banned on Twitch, but not sports betting. Aiden wants to focus on giving kids crippling porn addictions. I haven't masturbated in months, Aiden says. I quit jerking off. Aiden then says, if I call a girl a dishwasher, right, that's not me being sexist. You know what sexism is? It means I don't like people based on their sex, of which there are two, by the way. Train says, well, listen, see, this is what I mean. Sometimes you dig yourself into a goddamn hole, says Train. Train loses his train of thought. Damn, motherfucker, the coke got to your brain, says Aiden. And then Train says, yeah, no, no, it's more like the lack of, you know what I'm saying? When you cold turkey that, you know what I'm saying. C Train then clarifies he's definitely not on cocaine. They go back and forth about wanting everyone to love each other. Aiden says he's autistic. Aiden says he's not self-diagnosing, but that he used to do a lot of weird shit when he was a kid, and that it might just be Asperger's. Train then says that Twitch streamers should have protested the 50-50 change in revenue split as hard as they fought to ban gambling. He calls for streamers to boycott Twitch, and then he says Kick gives their streamers a 95% revenue split. You can hear that, guys? You can get a 95% revenue split on a channel that is broadcasting porn to children directly, that is that is telling children to fucking jo go and check out Nazi channels, to a, a, a show whose biggest streamer is broadcasting uh, uh, jokes about the Holocaust. 
95% uh, 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 revenue split. I bet you're gonna get a ton of revenue on that site. I bet there's tons of growth available on that website. We're back at the point where this thread ended up start starting. Aiden and Train's full wish list for streamers should sign uh, who should sign up are. Let's look at this list. Destiny, Nick Fuentes, who is a Nazi, Ice Poseidon, Bruce Dropamoff, Kai Sanat, Rice Gum, and Soldier Boy. Aiden coins the phrase, fuck Twitch, I'm I'ma just kick it. For the record, here is a clip of Aiden Ross explicitly requesting Trainwreck bring self-labeled Nazi Nick Fuentes onto kick. Fuentes currently streams on an alt-right site called Cozy and is banned on pretty much every other social media because, again, he is a white supremacist. Aiden and Fuentes apparently just chat. He'll call him up to ask questions on stream like any streaming pal. Most people will remember him from Ye's I Love Hitler podcast tour where Fuentes was there to coach Ye on alt-right talking points. Here's another clip of that. I'm adding in some clips for these. Aiden begins playing a clip where Gypsy Crusader calls a boy the N-word over and over again while dressed as uh, Hitler. That's the clip for that one. And that's where that's where the summary ends. So uh, Aiden Ross, guys, do you think he's doing great? So remember how I said there was a small bit of good news out of this nightmare? Like, yes, uh, it is true that a bunch of hugely influential, gigantic streamers are directly funneling their audience of children into Nazi propaganda and also explicitly engaging in, uh, in targeted bigotry against trans people alongside genocidal rhetoric from Nazis. Yes, that is true. But the funny thing is Aiden Ross is fucked. Aiden Ross is completely and utterly fucked. Because, um, like it or not, uh, uh, as it stands right now, <laughs> as it stands right now, uh, uh, being a fucking Nazi streamer is not a path to any sort of financial success. These people live in a reality of their own creation. And it's really funny, if you actually go and listen to, um, even Nick Fuentes, Nick Fuentes, of course, being sort of like the go-to example of a public-facing Nazi, um, you will discover this man is not exactly on uh, in, in financial good times. Uh, <laughs> recently, he was engaged in a debate with another, uh, 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 let's call this guy a diet Nazi, okay? Mr. Medicare, uh, who is uh, apparently going to die of cancer very soon. Um, you know, he's an he's an ex Gamergate harasser, a Kiwi Farms uh, guy. Or actually, I don't know if he's actually Kiwi Farms, but he does similar things. He likes to to harass people. That's his like main thing is fucking harassing people. Um, but yeah, he's a uh, uh, Nick Fuentes and uh, and. Uh, uh, Mr. Medicare recently had a debate, and one of the things that Nick accidentally let slip is that he's fucking out of money. That he's like. He, he lost, he got his funds fucking uh, uh, confiscated by the federal government during, his, their, during the investigation of, uh, of, of his involvement in January 6th. The man's fucking broke. And he doesn't have, he can't stream on any platforms anymore. He's not on YouTube anymore. All he has is his little incestuous website, which means that his only option for growth is to continue to squeeze his small audience to death on Cozy. And now we see that Aiden Ross is not even able to keep his ally, the few allies that he has on his side. He's ruining Train's opportunity to, uh, to actually have a successful streaming site. Like, don't get me wrong, it's pretty clear to me that Train is pretty far right wing, but it's very obvious to me that, um, that, or no, I shouldn't say pretty far right wing, that he's right leaning. It's very obvious from what he said there that he's right leaning, you know, him being like, yeah, it's lefties, etc. But Train is motivated by money. Train was making millions of dollars with his contract from, um, from gambling companies, and now he's not anymore. He's still making a lot of money, but he wants to run a successful streaming platform. And now he has these Nazis coming in and making it literally impossible. There's an old saying um, that says, uh, if you if you go into a bar, uh, there's an old saying that goes, if you go into a bar and there are 11 people drinking, uh, or, or there are 10 people drinking with a Nazi, you have 11 Nazis. 
Um, and that sometimes is a little bit overstated. But uh, there is a truth in it, which is the fact that uh, the presence, the tolerance of a Nazi, allowing a Nazi to sit there and, and exist in your social space alienates other people. Um, yeah, it, uh, other people say, yeah, in chat, another person says, uh, Intentions Nasty says, if you have 11 Nazis in your bar, you got a Nazi bar. Uh, there's another, there's other versions of it. There's a million different versions of this saying. Um, but it's true. The reason for this is that it doesn't take more than a handful of Nazis in a space to make that space inhospitable to everyone. Nazis are toxic. These people, these fucking bigots are terrible. They drive away everyone else. They are incapable of engaging in a, in any sort of reasonable uh, conversation. They are impossible. They are impossible to coexist with. Um, you, and so what ends up happening is you let this shit fester. You don't get rid of the people who are playing fucking uh, Holocaust jokes on their stream. You, 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 you don't get rid of the people who are screaming the N word at black people. Uh, and all of a sudden, no black people will come to your site. No white people who give a shit about racism will come to your site. No Jewish people will come to your site. No trans people will come to your site. And anybody who cares about any of those groups, who has family members who are Jewish or, or trans or gay or black will come to your website. And your site goes to the tank and the only people who will show up there is fucking Nazis. It is a self-destructive machine. And unfortunately, the downside, the sad thing about all of this, oh, I didn't see this. We can check this out. This will be interesting. Um, uh, the, the sad thing about all of this is the number of innocent people who are harmed in the process. Uh, because 111,000 people, a lot of whom are kids, being exposed to Nazi propaganda in a positive light, being told that this is funny and good, those people are going to go on to do a lot of harm to other people. And it contributes to an atmosphere of deranged hatred, a, a level of, of derangement that is completely disconnected from reality. I want you to acknowledge that, um, I, I just want to point out, uh, Aiden Ross, was not uh, attacked by trans people or anything like that. Aiden Ross fucked his own life over. Aiden Ross, the seat sniffer, sniffed the shit out of, uh, out of Andrew Tate's uh, ass crack so hard that he lost his own personality. And now he has no choice but to start a platforming uh, anti-Semitism. Uh, he, he platforming, fucking uh, opening his stream by targeting trans people, uh, jumping in on, on doxing his weird friends, platforming slurs. They live in their own reality. Their hatred is not inspired by anything that any of us do. They just hate. It is a self-reinforcing, deranging pipeline that completely breaks people's brains. I don't feel bad for Aiden Ross, but I feel bad for a lot of the people in his community, a lot of young people who don't necessarily know all that much about the world, who are being encouraged by the gigantic audiences around him into the worst behavior, the most self-destructive, horrible ideologies you can possibly imagine. Nazis are miserable people. Conservatives in general are fucking miserable people, but Nazis especially are the most miserable people on the planet. They can, they can literally see no other way to engage with the world except for raw hatred and domination. They are insecure. They hate everyone. They are convinced that there are secret plots all around them. They live in a different reality th than anyone else, and they insist that everyone else is wrong. It's a horrible existence. And unfortunately, their behavior when Nazis manage to grab a modicum of power is murderous. It's horrible. Let me remind you that one of the memes, one of the memes that this guy played was a fucking song making light of the atrocities of the Holocaust, explicitly framing those things in a good light. Like, can we acknowledge how fucked up the political landscape is in this fucking country?
Can we acknowledge the, the dire state of affairs and how serious we need to get about cracking down on this fucking bullshit? Because dullards, idiots like Aiden Ross are being enabled in however way to be able to talk to tons and tons of vulnerable children, to tons and tons of vulnerable people and convince them that adopting an ideology that requires that you hate and want to murder most of the world, an ideology that tells you to forgive some of the worst atrocities that this fucking planet has ever seen. I wanna read you something real quick. Hold on a second, I wanna read you something real quick. In what became known as the Wola Massacre, uh, Rona and Derlewanger personnel indiscriminately massacred Polish combatants alongside civilian men, women, and children in the Wola district of Warsaw, Poland. Up to 40,000 civilians were murdered in Wola in less than two weeks of, of, the, of August of that year, including all hospital patients and staff. Many otherwise unknown crimes committed by Derlewanger at Wola were later revealed by Matthias Schenk, a Belgian national who was serving in the area as a German army sapper, a demolitionist. Regarding an incident in which 500 small children were murdered, Schenk wrote the following. So this is from his journal. This was, he was not a member of the Derlewanger gang. Um, which was, by the way, a armed, supplied, funded combat gang by the Nazis. Their explicit purpose was to go travel into nearby countries and wreak havoc. Uh, and I'm going to read you the insert from his journey. Uh, content warning, this is extremely violent. After the door of the building was blown off, we saw a daycare full of small children. Around 500, all of them had their small hands in the air. Even Derlewanger's own people called him a butcher for this. He or ordered them to kill them all. The shots were fired, but he requested his men to save ammo and to finish them off with rifle butts and bayonets. Blood and brain matter flowed in streams down the stairs. So when I say that somebody doing a stream to 111,000 people making light of the Holocaust. The Holocaust wasn't just uh, a, a part of a war. The Holocaust wasn't just uh, concentration camps and internments. The Holocaust wasn't just the persecution of people in their daily lives. The Holocaust wasn't just a never ending ramping up uh, a campaign of propaganda, the Holocaust stretched out to all of Europe, to every nearby country where gangs of, of empowered uh, 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 idiots given the power to be as vile and brutish as possible would massacre children en masse glorifying in violence. And that's why I think we need to keep this type of shit in perspective. When you have a streamer who's fucking blasting out raw Nazi propaganda, explicitly asking for a, 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 uh, the owner of a website to allow Nazis to have a platform on that website, this is the shit that we're talking about. We know where this shit goes. We know what people who are willing to associate with the term Nazi actually believe. We know what they want. We know what they believe in. They want a world where any sort of act of, of vicious violence is totally justified so long as it's against the bad people, so long as it's against the degenerates or the whatever. Just remember that. Now there's I've just been tuned I've just been tuned in to a a piece of news to this to this uh situation apparently Aiden Ross's own brother uh has written a thread about this. Let's see what Aiden Ross's brother uh uh has to say. Discordant Vol says uh, the cruelty was the point. It made the rest of the Nazis feel better about what they were doing, since they certainly weren't as bad as Derlewanger. Yes, these things are designed to be to build off of each other. They are acts of uh, of, of of turbo toxic masculine bravado, showing how much you don't care, how much you despise the evil in the world, and they build off each other. The cruelty is a part of the ritual process of defeating the undesirables. Gayfesh says, 
Aiden Ross says that this is not his brother, but I'm not entirely particularly inclined to believe Aiden Ross on this. So this is a, this is warning everybody. This is a, this is potential apocrypha. We are not able to be a hundred percent sure that this is actually his brother. However, it is a large, it is a, well, I wouldn't say a large account. I don't know. Maybe this is a little, maybe this is a little much. Let's give it a chance anyway, but let's read this with the knowledge just so that nobody can claim that I'm doing any disinfo. We don't know for sure. This has not been confirmed that it's his brother, but this is someone claiming to be his brother. Could be, could not be. Take it with a grain of salt, okay? This is the bonus section. I already gave you my spiel. I already did the whole thing where I had to type and blah, blah, blah. So let's do this. I never wanted to bring this to my platform, but I need to get this rant out. I am Aiden Ross's half-brother. This is not a joke, and a few of you already know. He was banned from Twitch yesterday and has been making very erratic career and life decisions since he met Andrew Tate. Fame came to Aiden really fast when he was still a teenager, so our whole family, including my mom, have worked really hard to keep certain people away from him and keep him on the right path. We've always been a team like that, and there's never been a problem before, until... Last year, my brother started talking to the controversial influencer Andrew Tate online. Aiden had just gone through a really bad breakup with this girl named Pammy, his first serious relationship, and he was very vulnerable. I showed our dad some of Tate's content and my dad got really worried. But Aiden had turned 21, so the family decided to let him figure things out on his own. And what's the worst that could happen, right? By the holidays, he had totally changed. He had a fight with dad and told him to dye his hair blue. I couldn't believe that this was the same person as my kid brother. When our dad found out Aiden was going to fly to Romania to visit Andrew Tate in prison, he desperately, or he tried to intervene, but Aiden completely cut him off. By the time he flew out, he'd cut off our aunts and uncle, cousins, and at least one of our grandparents, the people that raised him, his own blood. If I have to hear my father cry over Aiden one more time, I swear to fucking God, or I swear to God. It's strained our relationship now too because I don't want to hear about Aiden anymore. I'm so tired of this bullshit. The Kanye West thing alone caused so much drama. And for what? For clout? It's insane. A lot of kids look up to Aiden. The last time we saw each other, we went shoe shopping and this little boy ran up to him and was crying, said he was his hero. Whether he asked for it or not, that is his audience. And it's irresponsible to feed them this kind of nonsense, period. I mean, he's streaming porn on his channel, calling women dishwashers. We were never the closest growing up, but I don't even know who he is anymore. Now his Twitch is permanently banned and his entire career hinges on the success of an unregulated gambling portal. What, what happened? I've always respected his wishes to keep the family private and I've never commented on anything he said or done until one retweet the other day about the porn incident. He called me this morning screaming about how he wants my motorcycle back, which was a birthday gift. I'm done. I'm not going to sit around and wait for him to stop torturing our family because he's in love with some bald British rapist. I used to blame Andrew Tate, but now I blame Aiden Ross. He didn't make you act like this. Not to me, not to our sister, and not to dad. Grow up. Actual grooming. Damn, a lot of people are responding to this. I don't know. I don't know if we'll ever fully know if this is the real deal. Yeah, you guys have to remember, uh, people in chat are like, wait, kids would say Aiden Ross is a hero? Aiden Ross is a huge streamer. He pulled on, 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 on his off platform, on Kick, the platform that is not his home platform, he pulled 111,000 concurrent viewers. You guys, we pull like 500 concurrent viewers. 111,000 concurrent viewers is an absolute insane amount of fame. And he's using it to directly endorse and promote Nazis. He is not just funneling these people. He's not just acting as a pipeline. He's blasting them into the Nazi sphere. He's a very, very popular person. And yes, kids do see him as somebody to be like. They, there are kids who've been following him for years, who've seen his success and who idolize him and he's blasting them directly into the hands of Nazis, of literal Nazis. Like, even if all he had done was recommend Nick Fuentes, that would be bad, but he didn't just do that. He didn't just recommend Nick Fuentes. He recommended other Nazis. He played direct Nazi propaganda content for these people. It's sick.
It's fucked up. It's disastrous. And the only thing that any of us can really take away as a, as a comfort is that he personally is probably going to ruin his own life. But what's really sad about this is the fact that this is becoming normalized. That in our society, there is an unironic Nazi surge going on. Now, I will be clear, even among all of those people who he promoted that to, very few of them will actually become Nazis. But it doesn't take a lot of Nazis to do a lot of harm. And let me remind you that, uh, like I said before, reading that quote, how bad it can get. People who are enabled with power and money to do great acts of cruelty can get away with a lot. They don't last long. They don't win any friends or allies, and basically everyone will fight against them, but they can do a lot of harm to a lot of people. And I personally would prefer to prevent a world in which fucking Nazi ideology becomes popular at all. I would really like to stop that world from, from ever happening. The normalization uh, is not okay. This shit has to be cracked down on really, really hard. And, uh, and it's very difficult to deal with. Uh, it's very difficult to do so in, a f in, in, in the internet future where people like this fucking idiot can broadcast this propaganda rapidly to thousands and thousands of people. And keep in mind, we all know where this started. This started with fucking Andrew Tate. It didn't start as Nazi shit. It started as a uh, misogynist manosphere shit. The pipeline that we talked about in the past, the what people used to call the alt-right pipeline, still exists and it's even stronger than it has been before and it's even worse than it has been before. I'm sure the I'm sure the viewer numbers on Kick are not that good. I'm sure there's a lot of issues with botting on Kick because Kick is a fresh platform. But keep in mind, I mean, we can just check Twitch. Twitch has significantly more uh, has significantly more trustworthy. Um, let me see. Let's just see. We can look. 